on, get! Get! Shoot! I still see you! Alright, back with the third episode, I believe, of Amnesia. Yeah, we're just gonna say third. I'll uh, correct myself if that's wrong. But uh, yeah, third episode of Amnesia. I'm actually very excited to get back into this, so I'm just gonna go for it. Just go in headstrong. What could be worse than that god-awful water monster? Not much. Oh, this is... Uh-oh. That's probably where I'm supposed to go, but I'm gonna check this out first, because what the hell? Haha, <laughs> splashing in the water. Uh, please tell me that's not gonna have weird consequences to me later. Alright. Oh, so I don't exactly have a objective. But I'm just gonna run right for this door. Hope for the best, you know? You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? An it will ascending definitely room. take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? No. Nope. Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Oh, we are going deeper. Into the bowels of the dungeon. Okay, so before I go, I kinda... Okay, that room's locked. I'm not see. Oh, did I accidentally light that? Damn it, I probably did. Any goodies? No? Alright, well... Let's go then. Get some elevator music going. Oh. Not working. Forgot I uh, have to do physics. Oh, it's not working? What is my mission? Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. All right. That is easy enough. I will go back out here. Because I'm sure that's where it's going to be. There's doors up there. Get one more splash in. <gasps> can I not splash? Ah, yeah, I can. Okay. Let's start over here. Down. I'm feeling too confident. And I know that's going to come around to bite me. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one wooden apple and pondered on the strange happenings. I do indeed regret my confidence already. Oh, right, I am out of oil. Uh-oh. was just updated. Uh, the darkness and the storage feels strange and unnatural. Yeah, I am sure it does. Oh, oil. No, tinderbox. I had my hopes up. can't see anything. Uh, can I turn my brightness up a little bit? And yeah, now I can at least... What was that? Oh. Now I can at least see a tiny bit.
Is my sanity? Okay, no, my sanity's fine. Oh, okay, hello? Please, let me go! I won't tell anyone, I swear! I just want to go home! Ugh. Creepy dog. No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! Oh, I miss my lantern! I just burned through everything with that damn water monster. There's really gonna be no sanity. We're so clear, apparently. Really gonna be no oil? Taking this rock. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Well, that's unfortunate. Tinder box. Uh. What do we have to say about that? The rubble from the cave-in is hindering further passage through the storage. Find a way to get through. You can't just yoink things, right? Nay. Right, oh, uh, well. It won't budge. Oh wait, can we... break this? Nope. I tried. I think there were more doors, yeah. Uh, equipment. Okay. Uh. Don't like that. Yeah, I'm gonna light that. Uh, I feel like I can get up here for a reason. I don't know if I like that reason. That's an open door, so we're closing that for now. Till I check out the rest of this. Valve has been rusted shut. Am I really not gonna get any oil? Let's go this way first. Tinder box. Ah, drill part. Okay. That's probably definitely useful. Okay, then there's that door, and then this door over here. Go for this one next. It's a hammer, tinder box, some wood. Man, I don't like how close that crying sounds. Can I open this one? Oh! Glorious oil! Oh, thank God! Honestly, thank God. Oh! I have my lantern back. Not for very long, but it's back. <laughs> okay, I really, really just don't appreciate that crying. How's my sanity doing? A slight headache? Ah, all right, that's fine. This is a awkwardly brightly lit room. A 
some items can be combined, so... I need to find all the parts. Does it say which part I'm missing? No. Uh... I mean... only be in a few places. Wait. Valve has been rusted shut. Secondary. I'm wasting my torch or my lantern. Can I get up there? No, okay, I thought that was maybe like some place to go up. Uh, I mean, I got stuff from in here already, right? Nothing under it. Hey, be quiet. Got nothing up there. There's something- oh god, what was that? It's like flung me. Uh, yeah, nothing up here. Oh, have I gotten in here yet? That would be a no. Okay, what's this? Alexander, I've prepared the explosives you need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Okay, am I gonna be messing with explosives later? Please try and tell your feather brain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive. And you should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats the next room for the ingredients all you need to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go okay so do i have like uh a jar or anything okay i need to find all the parts first Elv is rusted shut. Yes, yes, I am aware. Yeah, I have a lot of tinder boxes. I'm lighting that too. Get everything out of here. I feel like I'm have to be missing something someplace. And they usually light up blue though, so they're not exactly hard to find. And I was in here already. This room. Darkness. Closing in. Uh can I not just randomly say that? That's kinda not okay.
Yeah, then there was this room where I got the note. There has to be something I'm missing, right? just come back here later because I'm, I'm assuming I need like a bucket or something to make this nitroglycerin. Lighting that too. Yeah, okay, so I'll come back. So dark in here. Uh, I'm not this way, I guess. Lots of tinder boxes. Aha! I don't like this. Oh, is the monster here? like the music shift. It is pounding and hands are shaking. Okay. So I'm gonna stay by this torch for a little bit. Get my sanity back. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill here for a second. Uh... Yeah, there's not exactly a lot happening right now. My sanity really isn't going up. But what if I lit this whole room up. There we go. Surely, right? Right? A slight headache. There we go. Okay, so the whole room has to be lit? This is kind of peaceful. Huh. Just a slight headache? Ideally, I'd like for it to be perfectly fine. So we're just gonna keep chilling for a little bit. See how this goes. All right, well, it has not evolved from a slight headache. So we are just going to get going, I guess. Come down here. Wait, so I have the drill completed. 
I feel like I... Oh. Well, I thought I maybe had to drill through these to make, like, nitroglycerin or something. But... Valve is rusted shut. I'm sure I'll have to come back here eventually. So yeah, we're just gonna carry on. And what was down here again? The rubble, right? Can I not use it that way? Oh, okay. Do I have to... Let me go back to these and test them real quick. I forgot I had to, like, equip the item first. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. So that's flowing... That's flowing. Yeah! Here we go. Partially filled pot. Get some of this liquid too. I don't like that. I don't like this, Mr. Krabs. Okay, now I go up and blow it up. A slight headache still. I don't like all the blood around. It's making me real nervous, man. Okay. Okay, get away. Run! Do I have to, like, throw something at it? Hiya! No? How do I set it off? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! There we go. I also don't have my alchemical pot anymore, so I hope I don't need that. Because, uh, it gone. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Why are you doing this? Get away from me. Uh, I don't like it. God, it's just incredibly dark. Okay, what's this way? Machine parts. Okay. I don't like how dark it is in here. I really don't like it at all. Okay, I do have to be careful about how many of these things I'm using. I seem to be just burning through them so quickly. Oh, God. Violence. 
Well, this is where she dies. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm done in this room. I'm gonna look for some oil. Because I am just ridiculously low. Tinderbox. Oh, meat. This is a lovely place. Tinderbox, I'll take that. Oh. Oh, I can drag those around. Closer. Somehow. That's lovely. There's really no oil in this massive room. Can I open this? No. Okay, there is one more door here. I want to check. Oh my god! Uh-oh! There's just a monster chilling in here now? Shit! Tinderbox, awesome! I kind of want oil even more now, though. Behind me. Okay, I'm still at a slight headache. I'm gonna light that torch as well. Ugh. What? What was that for? Okay. Head is pounding, hands are shaking. I mean, understandably. What is this? Ah, uh, well. Should have seen that coming. I'm an idiot for that. Ooh. Uh, picked up four phase whatever rod. Picked up Trinity steam rod. Uh oh! Uh oh. Um. Yeah, I got a creature growling in my right ear right as I picked that stuff up. I don't want to leave this menu. I really don't want to leave this menu. Okay. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, there's one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. 
Unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Am I safe behind here? Is something actually coming to get me? I don't think so. Does this count as light? I doubt it. sanity back because boy am I paranoid I'm also gonna observe this door down there make sure nothing spooky tries to come up my way ah I wasted all of these tinder boxes I'm not too keen to just leave until my sanity's better. Aha! There we go. Okay, sanity is a tiny bit better. We're just gonna chill for a few more minutes here, and then I think I'm ready to head off? Not ready, but I will head off. Okay, I think we're good. We're gonna mosey on out of here. I still don't like the fact that that monster kind of ran the direction I need to go. Wait, what room is this other thing in? Oh, I thought I needed... Crap. I thought I needed three rods, but I don't see anything in the mementos. Oh, how'd I miss that? Dude, really? I just wasted like 10 minutes getting my sanity back up. Over here. And these barrels, maybe? Ah, ha, ha! Oil, please! Dang it. I mean, I'll take tinder boxes. Those, those aren't bad, but... Man, they are really... Really not giving me a lot of oil. Use one there instantly, because I don't know if I've looked this way. Move this here, because I think I can open this box. Nope. Not one I can open. Alright. I don't like it. I do not like it. the fact that I have to go this way. I really hate this. Uh-oh! I don't like that.
Why is my screen shaking? Is he... Not coming? Oh, did he not chase me? confused equipment don't have to go down there I'm not really gaining any sanity from this so I am going to leave and Everything's gonna be all right, right? Totally everything. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why my sanity is just not getting better. Is this another dream? He thought and screamed at the top of his lungs. Screaming at the top of your lungs is always effective. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. True? Dude, I need me a good, uh, safety splash. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. So what, what does this actually do? Does this do something? Back here. Oh. Oh, oil. Thank God. Right, chuck over here now. Is there another chest? No? How dare you? Okay, so come up here. And the study. Yes, I do remember now. The study. Is this the study room as well? Probably. Oh, guest room. But yeah, the study is where the third one is, and I was told only on like very specific circumstances am I supposed to use that? You try to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shifted when you weren't looking. Oh Oh, another cockroach. What they want with my journal. What would they want with your journal? I feel... What was that? Jeez. Screw you, cockroach. Oh! I knew I should look in this drawer for a reason. Second hey, what does July, this say? 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing oh, the Algeria. fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, oh no. I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it. 
but I'm worried for him. Yeah, that sounds very worrying. Does this lead to the study? Ah, okay, broken lock. Why would you have a guest room go to the study? It's kind of unusual. Ah, crowbar. Okay. Nothing in there. Ooh, tinderbox. Not look under the bed. Oh, I can click on the bed though. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. God, you're so creepy. I can't shake them. They come every night. Will Why don't you say it like them? that? You'll see. This guy's a creep. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, Recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused oh. me greatly. I Same. was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued Pure reading cocaine. the text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his okay. men to investigate the underground tomb. An effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, Madness. and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Oh, bum bum bum! So I am enjoying this lighted area far too much. Like, this is great. I like this a lot. This is a nice house. Nice bed. Nice not having uh, creepy monsters out and about. More oil. Oh my god, yes. Oh, we are over half on our oil. I have never been so happy. And nothing in there. Get out of my way, chair. Anything in the fireplace? That's sealed off. That's not very effective. You trying to die? I'm gonna turn the whole, whole room into smoke. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Oh? Okay, time to go to the study. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Lovely. It's suddenly not so bright and cheerful looking. I don't like it. Tanderbox! Can I, like, hide back here? Uh-oh. There we go. Ugh. Tinderbox. I have 11 of those now. Probably check to see what's in here. that behind me escape a window smash it jump out get out of here while I still can please oh this is a long one I was hoping they'd read it 
All right, letter regarding the discovery of an orb to my most trusted student and friend, Joanne Wire. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Perugian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. Wow, you've been looking for that for a long time. 20 plus years? I didn't realize it was happening that long. It is an inexplicable as the uh, Helordamus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was at that, or it was as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Can it be, can something be smooth and jagged? Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was impossible. It was an impossibility. God. I'm sorry for my bad reading, guys. This all is recorded after work. So I do my long shift and then I play this. My brain's ready to turn off. Ugh. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstad, investigating one of the antiquated trails. When I found, finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life. And it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It was bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed by, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. Black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away from the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. Gen Genoa! Jeez, the Guardian had taken the orb from me, but I still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. I think you just did. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owe you the truth about my visit to Alstad. Your friend and mentor... Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. I love the lore in this. Like, seriously, this game has some really cool stuff going on. I, I just... Oh, I'm so in love with it. This is my new friend, by the way. It's, uh, cross. So naturally I'm protected, right? Right? Uh-oh! Don't like that. But give me oil. Okay, put you down. Slowly creak the door open. Ugh, lovely. 
Oh, so much reading. Oh, I did not miss this. Okay. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induces stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to <laughs> enable any real work to be done. More experience must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It may be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately arguments their experience of terror. This is a, a very, very bad man. Like, whoa, what? Oh. Milestones of human anatomy. Yeah, this guy is not a good guy. Uh, 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek. But I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a ha hassle to acquire. Yeah, how's that going? Oh! My god! Screw this game. I had no right to be that scary. Good god. Give me that tinderbox. Really? A lore book and a jump scare, that was it? Where's my cross? Oh hey, more rubble. Oh, lovely. I don't think I don't think I got the stuff I need, did I? I mean we'll head out, try the lift again. But I'm I'm pretty sure it mentioned something about uh Needing a third one? The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I, I, I vividly remember it mentioning I need... Slash... Comfort water. Yeah, I'm almost certain it mentioned I need, um... A third one, but only like last possible choice use a uh like refurbished one versus a brand new one oh yeah i need the key to the machine room as well uh crowbar I break open this machine room door. Nope. Okay, does this say anything? The lock is broken. Find another way to open the closet door in the guest room. What? There's a closet door in the guest room? How did I miss that? Where did I miss that?
He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all of the sedatives he could find. Lovely. Why does everything jump around when I come in here? Oh, this door. Burrow bar. Uh oh. The key. Please let it be here. I mean, surely it is, right? Not me. Stay closed. Oh, what's out here? Just want to peek. Just want to peek. Was it gone? Ugh. I guess I could have hidden there as well. Okay, what does this say? 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Strange indeed. Can I open this one, please? No? Where, where's this key? An important key is hidden in the guest room. Okay. See you. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Apparently so. I thought I was safe in here, though. There's a monster tiptoeing around, and I don't like that. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Oh? Has that always been there? I feel like I would have known if a whole torso was chilling there. I don't like this place anymore. I felt so safe. And now I feel dread. I have the key to the machine room, though. And so it does look like I've been playing for a little over an hour now. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and call that here. I know I probably didn't get as much progress done as I could have, uh, but I, I had to go in bitch mode a few times, get my sanity back, uh, try not to die for monsters. But yeah, if you liked this, don't forget to subscribe to see more. Don't forget to click that like button as well. Show us how much you liked it. If you didn't like it, let us know in the comments too. Like honestly, any type of engagement, any type of feedback, always, always nice. But yeah, uh, next Saturday or Sunday, uh, next weekend. I forget what day I post these, I have to look. Next weekend, uh, there's definitely gonna be more of this game. And, and, I don't know when, but we're going to have somebody playing the Silent Hill 2 remake. So stay tuned if you want to see that. It'll probably be up in about a week or two after this is posted. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Check that out. And until next time, uh, bye bye